Event Threat Detection, ETD, is a service within Cloud Security Command Center. It uses log data from inside your systems and watches your organization's Stackdriver logging stream for one or more projects and consumes logs as they become available. When a threat is detected, ETD writes a finding to Cloud SCC and to a logging project. We'll focus on the ETD findings that are available in Cloud SCC. Once configured, it will appear as a card on the dashboard. ETD can quickly detect a number of high-risk and costly threats. Brute Force SSH ETD detects the brute force of SSH by examining Linux auth logs for repeated failures followed by success. Crypto Mining ETD detects coin mining malware by examining VPC logs for connections to known bad domains for mining pools and other log data. Cloud IAM Abuse Malicious Grants ETD detects the addition of accounts from outside of your organization's domains that are given owner or editor permission at the organization or project level. Malware ETD detects malware in a similar fashion to crypto mining, as it examines VPC logs for connections to known bad domains and other log data. Outgoing DDoS Port Scanning ETD detects DDoS attacks originating inside your organization by looking at the sizes, types, and numbers of VPC flow logs. Outgoing DDoS is a common use of compromised instances and projects by attackers. Port scanning is a common indication of an attacker getting ready for lateral movement in a project. In our environment, we can see the top items in the high priority category that we should be addressing. Event Threat Detection has found many persistent IAM anomalous grants. Let's look at one of them. We're able to see what the event was, when it occurred, and what source the data came from. It flagged it as a high priority, and the action taken was an ad of this Gmail user with the editor IAM role. We also know the culprit. Next, we can filter further by the person who granted this IAM role. This uncovers other actions this account took with his access and the projects it was done in. Next, we can continue to pivot on either the user or the project to do further detections and restrict this user's permissions. To further investigate a threat detected by event threat detection, I can send my logs to a seam like Splunk. Because event threat detection has already processed my logs, I can save time and money by sending only high value incidents to my seam. To export these logs, you can use a Splunk connector. Within Splunk, you can see events and categories. Splunk automatically sorts your key issues, allowing you to investigate further and follow the steps that are prescribed. Congratulations! You've enabled event threat detection and learn how to respond to a finding from it.